welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a tutorial on the James Trowell palette and I have some first impressions on the ColourPop No Filter Concealer as well as the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Setting Powder. Just keep watching. First I'm using the Shape Tape just to conceal my dark lids and to prep for these shadows. And here comes the James Charles palette by Morphe. The first color that I'm swirling it in my brush into is tune to just set the concealer on my lid. Not sure what I'm going to do, but let's wing it. First color I'm using on the crease is the color 518. And I'm just going to spread that on the creases of my eye and just diffuse it out. Blend it very well. Here I'm using the color Rusted to kind of carve out the crease a little more. So that way I know where to do my cut crease next. And after I've laid down kind of where I wanted the color to go, I'm just going ahead and blending all the way in, all the way out. I don't know. <laughs> And I'm just blending some more so it looks nice and blended into the transitional color, which was the orangey 518, I think it was, at the top. Now I'm going to go ahead with a small flat brush and kind of carve out my crease using the Shape Tape Concealer, which is my fave for cut creases.
And now with a small definer brush, I'm going into the colors Cold James and 10% Off. I'm thinking here, but those are the colors I'm going to be using. I'm going to mix them together and I'm going to use them right there on the corner of the eye. I'm just keeping them on the outer corner. And now that I've carved out my crease, I'm going to go ahead with a flat brush. I'm going to pack on the color so good all over the lid. Well, half of the lid, wherever I carved it out at. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that outer corner to meet the inner lid in the middle, nice and blended. With a small little pointed brush, I'm going back in to define the crease a little more with the color Rusted. I'm going to go back in and pack some more color onto the outer corners just to make that color super dark. And then with the fluffy brush again, I'm going to diffuse it and blend it. Make sure everything looks nice and blended. No harsh lines. First, I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin with the Maybelline Baby Soft Primer. Good for pores. And then I'm going in with the Pro Glow Foundation, I think it's from L'Oreal, and the number 205. And I'm gonna buff it out with a flat foundation brush. this I know it's old to you guys it's new to me as far as trying it out so I'm gonna try it out I don't know if it's a little too light for me but let's just see how this color pop no filter um, concealer looks in light I think it's 16 16 yeah and I'm just blending the the concealer in with a concealer brush it's like two-sided double-sided but I like the bigger side I feel like it gets really in there
use the Kylie Jenner um, setting powder in soft pink. Which I just got. It was nice on the skin. I feel like it helped the concealer underneath blur a little. Good job, Kylie. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish. And now I'm just gonna go in with the angled brush and buff in some bronzer to kind of contour my skin. I'm using the Benefit Hula bronzer. Only the best. Now I'm going in with the Too Faced Peach Blush Palette and give myself some peachy cheeks. Love this. Now I'm using the Anastasia Be Be Ugh, Beverly Hills highlight from Amorese. Only the absolute best. And now I'm just going to go in the same order that I did my crease and my transition shades. I'm going to do at the bottom of my bottom lashes. Lashes are on and popping. Now for the bottom ones. And then I'll spray that face down, girl. Now on to the lips. We're using MAC Boldly. I'm sorry, barely there lip liner. And then I'm gonna top it off with a Live Glam lipstick. I don't remember the color. I think it's Give No Flox by Live Glam. I think I said it. And it's um, through Morphe. 
So here's the look. I used the James Charles palette and I used a couple things on the lips. The, lip, the Live Glam, um, No Flocks Given. Um, the butter stick underneath it so it kind of lightens it a little bit and then the boldly bare by MAC lip liner on the lips well there you have it I hope you liked it and if this was helpful just give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and press the notification button so that you can stay informed when all my videos come out